Hey guys, I am Padma from Programmies and welcome back to this series on C programming. In this video, we will learn about the Boolean expression in C programming. More specifically, we will learn about the Boolean type, logical and comparator operator that are used to create decision making programs. So let's get started. Just like integer and double, Boolean is a data type that can store only two values, either true or false. We use the bool keyword to create Boolean type variables. However, to create a Boolean type variable, we must import the stdbool header file first. Let's see an example. Here I have a basic C program. Now I'll first include, include stdboil.h just like stdio.h now let's create two boolean variables bool value one equals true and another bool value bool value two equals false now we'll print these variables. We know that we use format specifiers to print variables in C. However, there is no format specifier for bool type variable. So how do you print a Boolean variable? Well, we use the percent %d just like printing integer values. This is because in C programming, Boolean values are represented by integer data. False is represented by zero and true is represented by one or all the values except zero. Now let's print these variables. Now I'll print this using printf statement using percent %d format specifier value 1 and I'll put some space here then I'll print another value 2 using printf statement. So here we'll use percent %d format specifier and value 2 and we'll We'll put some space here and I'll run this. You can see one is printed for true and zero is printed for false. One thing you should remember is that C is a case sensitive language and we cannot use true and false with capital T and capital F. Let me show you. I'll replace this small t with capital T and I'll replace this small f with capital F and I'll run this. As you can see, I get an error. This is because true with small t is different from true with capital T. By the way, if you are watching this, there is a good chance you want to improve your skills in C programming. Lucky for you, we have a mobile app that provides a well-structured C programming course with certification at the end. And you can use the app alongside the video to practice on the built-in compiler. Our course is free, so download now by scanning this QR code or click the link in the video description. Now that we know about the booleans, let's learn about comparison and logical operators. These operators are used to create boolean expressions that return boolean values. Let's start with comparison operator. I'll first copy a list of all comparison operators in our text editor so that it's easier for us to use them. Now let's go through them one by one. I'll start with greater than operator. The greater than operator checks if the value is greater than another value. Let's see an example. Here I am using greater than operator to check if 12 is greater than 9 and assign the result to the value variable. Since 12 is greater than 9, the output will be true. So let's run this code. As you can see, I get 1 as output which represents true. Now let's change the value of 12 to 5. Now I'll run this code again. This time we get output 0 which represents false. It's because 5 is not greater than 9. So the greater than operator results false. Similarly, the less than operator checks if the value is less than another value. Here I'll simply change the greater than sign to less than sign. The value 5 is less than 9. So the output will be true. Let's run this code as expected we get the output 1 which is true. Now let me change the value 5 to 9 and I'll run this code again. Here I'll get 0 as output because 9 is not less than 9. The equal to operator compares two values 
and return true if the value are equal. I'll use the same code and change the less than sign to equal to sign. Here 9 is equal to 9, so we should get true as output. Let's run this code. As expected, we get 1 as output. Now let me change this 9 to 6. By just looking at this, you can tell the output is going to be false. Let me run this code. As expected, we get 0, which means false in C programming. Similarly, there is not equal to operator. It does exactly the opposite of what equal to operator does. It checks if two values are not equal. Here I'll change this equal to operator to not equal to. Here we are using not equal to operator between 9 and 6. Now let's run this code. I get 1 as output because 9 is not equal to 6. So result is true. In C programming, there are also some compound comparator operators like greater than equal to. This operator gives true if a value is either greater than or equal to another value. I'll use the same code and I'll change this value to 9 is greater than and equals to 6. Now, what do you think the output of this code will be? I'll run this and yes, so you guessed it right. The output is 1 because 9 is greater than 6. So the result is true. Similarly, there is less than or equal to operator that does the exact opposite of greater than or equal to. Let's change the operator here. Now let's change the operator here. I will run this code. You can see I get 0 because 9 is neither less than or equal to 6. We can also use this comparator operator with floating point number. So I'll change the value 9 to 9.34 and change this 6 to 6.8. 7. Now we are checking if 9.34 is less than or equal to 6.87. I'll run this code. As you can see, I get the output 0. That means the condition is false. Till now, we have used comparison operators to compare two values. However, we can also use them to compare variables. Let's see an example. I'll create two variables int num. 1 equals 9 and another variable int num 2 equals 6. Now let's compare these two variables. To compare that we'll create bool value. Bool value equals num1 is greater than num2. Here I'm checking num1 is greater than num2. Now let's print this using print statement. Print f bracket inside quotation percent d comma value. Now I'll run this code. We get output 1 because the value of num1 equals to 9 is greater than value of num2 that is equals to 6. We can also use comparison operators with variables and value. I'll remove this num2 and I'll remove this num2 here as well and put here value 6 and I'll run this again. As you can see code runs perfectly fine and we get the output as before. These are the comparison operators that are used in C programming. They all return a boolean value and the expression where they are used is called boolean expressions. In our previous example, the code num1 greater than 6 is a boolean expression. Boolean expression check particular condition and results either true or false and based on the result we can perform different actions. Okay guys, we need your support to keep these types of content free for all users. YouTube really likes engagement on the video, so leave a comment below, press that like button and hit subscribe if you haven't already. Let's get the engagement score high up so that more people can discover and enjoy these courses. Now let's move to logical operators. Logical operators are used with boolean expression to perform logical operations. C programming has three logical operators and they are AND, OR and NOT. Let's copy them in our code editor and learn them one by one. 
we use the 2 ampersand sign for the AND operator. Let me show you an example. I'll create two variables age and height with value 18 and 6.3. So let's do that. Int is equals 18 and double height equals 6.3. Now I'll create another variable bool result where I'll assign two boolean expression first to check if age is greater than or equal to 18. So equals to age is greater than or equals to 18 and second to check if height is greater than 6. So height is greater than 6. And now I'll use AND operator to join them. So let me complete this program. Here I'll add print statement. Print as bracket inside quotation percent d comma result. Here I have used AND between two boolean expressions. The operator returns true if both expressions are true. Let me run this code. Here I get 1 as output because age is equals to 18. So this boolean expression returns true and height is also greater than 6. So this boolean expression returns true as well. Hence we get the final result that is also true. Now let me change the value of 18 to 16. So this expression a is greater than equals to 18 becomes false. Now let me run this code. As you can see we get output 0. This is because the AND operator returns true only if both the expression are true. However the value of a is 16 so this expression is false. Hence we get the final result 0 that is false in C programming. Now let's learn about logical OR operator. We use double pipe symbol as the OR operator. The OR operator returns true if one of the boolean expression is true. Let me show you. Here I'll replace this AND with OR. Here this expression is false. However, this expression is true. So the result will be true. Let me run this code. As expected, we get 1 as output. Unlike AND and OR, the NOT operator is used with only one boolean expression. We use the exclamation mark as the NOT operator. The NOT operator simply reverses the result of boolean expression. If the expression is true, it returns false and if the expression is false, it returns true. Let's see an example. I'll use the same code as before. Here I'll remove this double variable and this expression height is greater than 6. And I'll use NOT operator before this expression. Here this expression is false. So the NOT operator reverses the value. Hence the final results become true. Let me run this code. As expected we get 1 as output. Now let's change the greater than operator to less than or equal to operator. Here the boolean expression is true. So the result will be false because of this NOT operator. Now let me run this code. As you can see, we get 0 as output. Boolean expressions are very useful in decision making and loops. They are used to check particular condition and based on the condition, we can make some decision. Suppose you want to check if a person is eligible to vote. Then we can use Boolean expression to check if the age of the person is greater than 18. And depending upon the result of the Boolean expression, we can decide if the person can vote or not. This is how we can create decision making programs using boolean expression. In the next video we will learn to create decision making programs. So don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you don't want to miss that. Now that we are at the end of this video it's time for program is quiz. Which of the following code returns false? Comment your answer below. See you in the next video. Happy programming.